50 foot expandable hose by Rhea. It, the package includes the spray nozzle itself, the hose obviously, and uh, the hose hanger that basically will sit on the hose bib to your house. Now for us, it didn't really work all that well because our hose bib comes out of the ground, but for most people it'd be pretty handy. I uh, might attach it to a wooden board and stick it in the ground later just so we have something to hang the hose on. Uh, as far as the hose itself, you'll notice right now it's not pressurized. It, I think it's around, I want to say 13 feet when it's not pressurized, and then it expands out to a 50 foot length once you have water pressure in the hose itself. Uh, the head is pretty durable. Uh, both of them contain the water pressure and don't leak really well. Um, I've been actually really happy with the fittings considering the last few hoses I've had have been kind of crap. Um, even after right after buying them uh, one of the main reasons we got this one is so that is because of how light it is it makes it a lot easier to water the garden because we have a fairly extensive garden um, part of that is because my wife is going to do a lot of the gardening and it's going to be easier for her uh, so the manual suggests it basically says, says to pressurize the hose before you start using it so I'll show you how to do that real quick uh, on the brass fitting here on the hose you just close that valve so that it's going horizontal, and then we'll pressurize the hose real quick. You can see how fast that small little bundle I had is now rather huge. And then, So now that it's expanded, you can see it looks just like a regular hose. There's no more wrinkles or any kind of kinks in there. One of the handy parts that goes along with that is because it's so flexible initially and it pressurizes to create that, that regular look, um, I haven't had a single time where it's as kinked yet. Now that may change with age, but for now it's really, really kink friendly. So as a result, it's really nice when you're halfway across the garden, you don't lose water pressure all of a sudden because you're dumb hose kinks. Um, but once it's pressurized, go ahead and open that valve, which will then pressurize the head, and then you can just use that normally. It does have a bunch of different options for the spray nozzle. So you've got your shower, mist, center, flat, home. You can see there's quite a few options there. Personally, I usually only use the one setting, which is shower. But it's your hose, live it your world. Um, the brass fittings themselves are surprisingly durable. Uh, the last time I bought an expandable hose, it broke the first time I used it. And so I was kind of hesitant to buy another expandable hose because of that. But this one actually is surprisingly durable with the brass fittings and everything. On top of that, these fittings can be taken apart a little bit and uh, worked on if you need to, but I, I honestly don't foresee any problems with it coming. Uh, the manual also says to store it inside in some form or at least out of direct sunlight because direct sunlight will age the canvas more rapidly than just than it being covered. So that's something to be aware of as well. Um, and then when you're done with it and you're ready to just kind of put it away for the night, you do basically the same thing just in reverse. So we're gonna close the valve here and then we're going to shut off our water pressure and then open the valve back up again and I guess you probably didn't need to close that to begin with but, and then you basically just spray it and you'll notice the hose as I'm spraying is going to be rapidly shrinking again because all the, pre the reason it's spraying right now is because the pressure from that PVC interior lining is squeezing all that water out at the moment because of that expansion factor so as this drains more and more, you can see it just starts to shrink up around that as that PVC continues to squeeze it until eventually our water pressure drops and it's completely relaxed again. So from there, you can just toss it up to where you're going to store it and you're good to go. Uh, the brass fittings do make it really easy to turn off and on. So unlike some hoses where you really struggle to get it off and onto the hose bib, the, the fittings are really comfortable in your hand and they turn really easily as well. Uh, that's about all I've got for this. Um, thank you for watching my video. Have a good day. Hopefully you'll find the hose handy. I, I did receive it for free to give an honest and unbiased review. Hopefully that won't cloud your judgment on the review of the video. But I honestly think it's been it's a worthwhile product. Um, normally it costs around $45. I think that's 
a little steep for a hose, but I think when you compare it to all the, the, the features with it, when the fact that it's a lot easier to store because it shrinks down so small, it is made for sturdier material and it does come with the sprayer and the hose bib and the hanger as well. I'd say it's probably worth it, but I'll leave the overall judgment of whether or not you buy it up to you. Otherwise, have a good day and bye-bye. Uh,